Devin and I are so fortunate because today we're in a beautiful spot in the coastal range of Oregon. And we're here with some friends who will remain off camera in a secret location in BLM land looking for chanterelle mushrooms. Now from what I understand, chanterelle mushrooms only grow in the wild, they can't be farmed. So this is the climate, this is the space where you can find them. That's a big stump. It is legal to get mushrooms here, uh, but we're limited to one gallon per person. I don't know how many mushrooms are in a gallon. You have to walk really carefully because you don't want to step on one by mistake looking under the logs and the areas around here. Did you find one? All right. Do you see how yeah. the uh, the uh, gills kind of fork? Chanterelles are the only ones that actually fork up out at the top. And so that's how you can just tell it's definitely a chanterelle. I think there's a couple over there too. So. Oh, but I have to tell you, it is gorgeous up here. The forest floor in areas like this are just covered in life. We're lucky that we just had some heavy rains. And so everything is extra lush and green right now. Now I've lost everybody. Hello? Hey, puppy! Hey! I guess we're not that alone. The bottom line is, the moral of the story is, don't eat mushrooms if you don't know exactly what they are. And don't go mushroom hunting by yourself unless you know exactly what you're doing. Or you go with someone who does know what they're doing. This could be your last day on Earth if you decide to eat well, it would be an the one with red spots on it. So these are chanterelles. Mm -hmm. So this is a handful. This wasn't like a huge haul today. We think we're a little bit early in the season. So we're going to take these home and cook them up and see how they taste. Oh, there's a car on the side of the road. A Tesla nonetheless. A Tesla nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Tesla in the middle of the coastal range. A Tesla, nonetheless. Tesla. <laughs> wow. wow. So here's something that's a really stark difference. We're just coming out of the BLM land, and look what happens when you get to the forested land. Is forested a word? Forested, yes. Forested. Wow, look at that. You can see the mountains. Look what they do to the landscape. So we made it out. We made out. So we made it out. We made up. We made. We made it up. <laughs> made it up. We made it out of the woods. We made it out of the woods. So we did okay. We got a handful. It's enough to bring home and let our girls try them. Maybe there'll be a part two of this later if we come back and we find the buckets full that they said we would find. It was fun anyway. Because it's fun to drive off-road anyway. Sure. We don't spend enough time in the woods anyway. You should always spend more time in the woods anyway. Yeah, man, nature therapy. It is total nature therapy with a handful of mushrooms to go along with it. <laughs> 